guys welcome to your energy check-in for gemini this is going to be for your uh second half of your november from the 16th to the 30th you can apply this to your any of your placements uh so uh we're going to take a look at your over energies what's surrounding you guys what you guys need to know what you guys could expect um so apply this to your own unique situations like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post when i go live also if you guys are interested in following me on tiktok instagram my other youtube channel that is dedicated solely to my travels the links for those are in the description box below also if you guys are interested in wanting to uh Book a personal reading with me. The link for that is also in the description box below. So what messages do you have here for Gemini? Over energies for Gemini. What's surrounding Gemini for the second half of their November from the 16th to the 30th? Nine of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Six of Wands. And the Moon. It seems like you guys are experiencing victory here. Yeah, I feel like you guys are experiencing victory in your finances, okay, in your family situation here, you know. It could also be an indication that, you know, whatever has been swept under the rug, you know, is bubbling up to the surface here and that you guys could be resolving it or taking care of it at this time here, okay. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles here. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Five of Cups. If you guys have been going through some sort of financial obstacles or you guys have been disappointed in yourself here, I do feel like you guys are about to overcome it, okay? If there is any sort of emotional disappointment from anyone that you have dealt with here recently, I feel like you guys are definitely overcoming that uh, 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 emotional disappointment from a friend, a family member, a romantic partner here, the Eight of Pentacles here, and the Seven of Cups, okay? You guys definitely have new ideas that you guys are working on here, okay? It seems like you guys are definitely charting a new destiny here for yourself and that you guys are no longer staying stuck in the stagnant energy here where things are not going anywhere. It's not saying in the cards that the energy is stagnant, but it's kind of it kind of feels that way, but you're like overcoming it here. The Four of Swords. Ace of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles here. And the Knight of Pentacles here. Yeah. Um, I do get the sense that, you know, for the rest of, for the rest of, you know, November here, I do feel like your finances are starting to, is, is, is going to start to improve here. Okay. Uh, whatever work that you have been putting into yourself here or your work situation, your finances here, it's paying off. Okay. The Six of Wands. And the Empress here. Look at this. You're going from a pre-Empress here to an Empress here. You guys are manifesting new things, okay? These manifestations are coming to fruition here. And also, you guys are attracting good energy here. You guys have gone through some sort of spiritual ascension here, okay? The moon. So uh, the Empress Libra Taurus, the moon card here, and also the Nine of Swords here. You guys have been dealing with a lot of sleepless, sleepless, sleepless nights here. But I feel like things are going to gradually improve here. And I feel like you guys are going to start sleeping better here. Okay, so what else do we have for, for Gemini? What else does Gemini need to know, look out for, work on for the second half of their November from the 16th to the 30th with the Jewel of Cups, deal with the Page of Swords, Knight of Cups, Temperance, Five of Swords, and the Hangman, Piscean Energy here. Okay, so the Jewel of Cups. Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. 
Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The Temperance card, Sagittarius Energy. Five of Swords. Yeah, it seems like you're you're also in this energy of putting yourself first. You know, some of you guys have really taken some time out to really reassess some of your relationships here. You know, like your friendships and stuff like that. And, you know, I, I feel like you guys are definitely releasing anyone here that doesn't have your best interests at heart, that messes with you, that plays games with you here. You're just letting these people go. And you're focusing on healthy and positive relationships here, okay? Yeah, you're focusing on positive and healthy relationships. Tell me the Two of Cups here. Seven of Wands. There's also a, a relationship here that you're really protective of. It could be a romantic relationship here. Maybe this is the person that has gotten through, has helped you or supported you to get through some of your tough times here, you know, and I feel like you're really supportive or that, no, you're really protective of this connection or this relationship. The Page of Swords and the Eight of Swords here. If you have cut someone else, uh, cut someone out recently here where someone here has disappointed you, this person is going crazy here. Like, like I said, this could be a friend, okay? Maybe this is an ex or something like that. But this person's going crazy here, trying to figure out a way to communicate with you, okay? But I feel like this person doesn't really know what to say. The Knight of Cups here and the Wheel of Fortune. There is someone here that did you dirty here, that really disappointed you, and this person's getting their karma. Yeah, this person's getting their karma here. We have Temperance here. And the Fool, Aries Energy. It does seem like you're leaving someone behind. Yeah, I, I also feel like you're protected. You know, I do feel like your guides and your angels or your ancestors are working together here with you to help you in this situation. The uh, Five of Swords. And the Three of Wands. Yeah, seems like you guys are turning your back on someone, turning your back on somebody here. The Hangman. And, and it seems like you're see, seeing it for what it is. And that you're gaining perspective from the situation here. Yeah, there's a sense of releasing someone from your past here and letting this person go. Yeah, so yeah, it, it seems like, you know, what goes around comes around. You know, someone here is definitely experiencing a situation where the shoe's on the other foot. Maybe this person played games with you and now you're kind of like, you know, they're losing at their own game here, okay? So, Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. And I'll see you guys in another reading. Thanks. Bye.